Hi, I'm Bill at Highland Hill Farm in Doylestown, Pennsylvania, and I believe that a person in a free country should be allowed to fuck himself up. And I don't just, you know, may say that, you know, nonchalantly. I believe if you want to smoke dope and you're in this country, you should be allowed. Now, I, I don't smoke dope, and I never really have, but I'm going to tell you this. If you want to screw yourself up, this is the country that you should be allowed to do it in. But, with the way the government is, the government doesn't like narcotics because it can't tax it. So today, I'm going to give you some tips on how to thwart a police dog in its search of your premises for marijuana, whether it's your car or your house. What I, what I want to suggest to you today is do the following. Take some marijuana, pulverize it, grind it up, take a couple ounces or an ounce or two, pulverize it up real fine, make it into almost like a powder. Take that marijuana and put it in, in a jar of 190 proof alcohol. Shake it up and let it set overnight at room temperature. Then allow the particles to settle or float to the surface, whichever it'll do. I'm not certain. I've never done this, but I'm going to tell you how to do it. Then, separate that by running it through a coffee filter to collect nothing but the alcohol marijuana oil extract. Now, that extract is a very potent weapon in the use against a dog, because what you now can do is take that extract and put it in a little spray bottle. And when you're in your car, if you want to mask your car, spray the whole interior of your car with that extract. Now what that does is that puts the scent of marijuana completely through the car. And in a couple of places where you want to do, what you want to do is you want to give it a little extra dose so that the dog, when he gets in the car, he finds that scent and there's nothing there. Even put that all around the outside of your car as well. Be careful of alcohol on your varnish of your paint because you don't want to put alcohol in the paint. So for that case, what you want to do is use a water extract. However, what you can do now also is this. You can allow the, the alcohol to evaporate, getting a stronger solution of the marijuana resinous material with the alcohol. Now, when you're painting on the interior of your house with latex paint, take that resin alcohol mixture, put it into the paint. Make sure it's compatible by testing it first, and then putting it into the paint. Now, all the surfaces in the house that you paint, paint with this marijuana paint extract. Now, even the door to your house will have the resinous odor of marijuana. It'll be a false positive indication for the dog confusing the dog. That's how you can confuse the police canine dog into being unable to properly do its job in finding marijuana, thereby making your marijuana stash just that more safe in your hiding place. And remember, the dog has a thousand times or ten thousand times the ability to smell than you or I. So what you can do is take advantage of that by allowing the dog to have his whiff of marijuana. Now you can also do another trick. You can take a very high resinous amount of marijuana extract and put it in what's called a plasticizer. That's a resin that doesn't evaporate. Put it in that resin. Now, hide a ball that has had been sprayed with your marijuana extract up underneath the car where the dog will find it. Attach it there so that the dog can get it, but that the dog has to really grab at it with its mouth so that now the dog's nose will come in contact with the resinous material that has the marijuana extract in it. That way the dog's nose will have nothing but marijuana on it. So wherever it goes now, until that is wiped off and clean, that dog will smell marijuana. So that's another technique for using a mask and a shield to help thwart the dog from finding your stash. Now, if you're going to grow marijuana in your backyard, you're, it's not going to help very well. But what you can do in that case is 
we do sell trees and shrubs, arborvitas, junipers, pine trees, and things such as that, which can you be used to help screen the property that has your marijuana growing on. And good screens and good buffers block visual people from visualizing your marijuana and seeing your plants and then being able to report you. And just remember that we do sell trees and shrubs. We're Highland Hill Farm, not because we get high, but because we sell trees and shrubs for you. So give us a call if you need trees and shrubs at 215-651-8329. Thank you.